Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Frog Song, a game that just surprise launched yesterday as part of the Wholesome Games Direct, and it's been on my wish list for a while, so I figured I'd pick it up and give it a shot. It's given me some kind of like cutesy Hollow Knight vibes, but more Zelda y? I'm curious to see how this goes. That sword is definitely. Wait. And that Geo? Is that a Geo there? I don't know if it was or not. Well, it's super cute. I'll give it that. I don't remember when I added this to my my wish list, but yeah, it's just been sitting there for a while, so I was just like, oh, yeah. Why not? I'm also trying kind of hard to feature as many, like, good games per week as possible. Um... Which I realize is kind of like an impossible and daunting task, and my own personal preferences do mess with that a little bit. But, like, I don't know. I think it's kind of fun to just see all these, like, cool, cute little games. Cool, cute, interesting little games pop out. And, oh, this walk is weird. Frog's walking is hilarious looking. We were at a... We were... We were oh, gosh. We were walking to a local ice cream place. And... Shell is just like, look! It's a toad! And it was just this toad that was just hyper-casually, like, slow walk-hopping across the trail. And we got, like, really close to it, and it just did not care that we were there. It was, like, barely bothered by our existence. I aspire to live like that toad, but I don't think I will succeed. Boy, we must be a really small frog, too. Oh, we can attack. Right. Wait. I must. Oh! I was worried for a hot second. I'm like, well, they're cute. But can I kill? And the answer is no, actually. At least I don't think... I don't think I can, and I'm not going to, like, spend too much time trying. Because that would be bad. That would be the bad thing. Oh. Horses will grew. Lily stones are hidden throughout the world. Collect them to increase your health. Okay. So I gotta check a couple of things. Do we have a map? We do. Interesting. There might have actually been another path the other direction. For now, it doesn't matter, but uh looks like this might actually be kind of tremendous. Let's go in here. I was hoping we get some sweet music, but it's mostly just ambient so far. I guess it is way faster if I'm actually jumping. It's a little bit more jerky, but on the flip side, we traverse ground. It doesn't look like there's any kind of stamina meter. Oh, hey there, little guy. You're not going to attack me, right? You look pretty small. Should be able to just sneak past you. Are you following me? Do you want something? Hey, wait, get out of my bag. My food's in there. Not too late, I guess. You can come with me if you want, but if you're going to eat my food, maybe you can help me out a little. The beetle bud can be brought out at any time if you select, if you need some extra help finding secrets or fighting monsters. How the beetle bud helps can be adjusted in the options menu. The second player can also take control of the beetle bud by pressing the interact button on their controller. Oh. Okay, then. I think we need to get a second player. Let me procure one. All right, co-op partner acquired. Hi. Shell was dying on the couch, so I revived her, and now we've now we've got proper co-op going on. <laughs> I don't know. Just just the smoke from the wildfires has been messing a, with us. Yeah, a bit much. We got a bunch of tape to try and kind of airproof this place a little bit, but who knows? I mean, at least the AQI is not in the two three hundreds like it was a couple days ago. So it looks like what? I don't really have anything but an attack at the moment. I you, thought I was supposed to be able to find hidden objects unless I sparkle or something. I think you can only do that in uh, if you're alone. Like, if you're just in AI mode and not controlling, I think then Beetlebud finds secrets. But I think otherwise uh, we're going to have to accept that you are going to have to use your real human eyes <laughs> to find things. Music's... Whoa, fun. who's that guy? Look at what I found in the sand over there. What do you think it is? Not sure. But it looks really pretty, though. I think it's a magical shield made by an ancient, powerful race of frogs from another planet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have no clue what it is. Is it just a bottle cap? Yeah. Ra Razzablary? I have no idea. 
It's it like it looks like raspberry, but it's not quite. Here, you know what? I can get really close. Razzleberry Blitz. There uh -huh. we go. I really like its colors. Oh, did you want it? No, you can keep it. Okay, cool. I was hoping you'd say that. I really wanted to keep it. My name's Chorus. What's yours? I'm Espo. Nice to meet you, Espo. I'm headed to Boralia. Actually, do you want to be Chorus instead? Uh, the thing is... Can you put the music down? Yeah, sure. Uh... Not easily. It is really loud. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I can turn it down on your end. Here. There you go. That yeah, that, that's much better. All right. So do you want me to stick his chorus? I mean, I, it's kind of bizarre because you're the one playing as them, but I don't know. I'll stick with I, I feel. I feel you know, like... I, I, why don't we reserve your voice for regular voice acting and the couple of very overtly lady frogs? If there are any lady frogs. Uh, you can have the big ones, too. <laughs> that might clear you out. Just go real deep, thro uh, oh like my. deep lung speech. That'll clear out any phlegm you got. I'm headed to Boralia. Am I walking the right way? Depen depends which way you're walking. Uh, west? Your west or my west? <laughs> Never mind, I think I've got it. See you around. Well, this is cute. I am the beetle bud. I'm still weirded out by the frog walking. Like we were talking about that. Yeah, before. yeah, we were talking about it before and uh -huh. when we were looking at the trailer. Oh, oh can I can I dash to too? Or uh, no? Right I, trigger. I think you're just invincible. No, oh look at this. Oh, you do have a dash. I do have a roll. We'll have to see how that works in combat. Do I have anything else I can do? No. I, I think don't it's have just anything the roll else I can slash. do either. You just warp to me if you get off screen. Yeah, that a little Might discombobulating, be, but yeah, okay. But if you remain invincible, it shouldn't be a problem. East to the gloaming grove, west of Oriala. Further east, the swamp of gloom. Gloom. Anything in these bushes? No. Yeah, Nothing I don't in think the there's anything there. We can come back and look for secrets later, but at the moment, I don't know. Oh, looks like a town. Hello. Hey, who are you? My name's Chorus. I'm new in town. Oh, I was wondering when we get a priest in town. Actually, I'm not. You should go find Elder Bufo. He'll get you settled in. Uh... <laughs> a priest? The mighty croak. <laughs> Too bad our croak is not mighty. Or more of a cheap. Nope, can't go in there. All these... Hey, you're new to town, right? Do you want a slice of pie? Really? Sure. Then you should have a baked one. Wait. Oh, no. Then you should have baked one. That's terrible. That's a terrible joke. Uh. Oh, my goodness. I'm kidding. Goodness. Can you imagine? That would be so rude. Uh. Oh. Well, please ignore him. He thinks he's hilarious. We heard someone new was moving into town. So, my husband here baked me one of his world-famous huckleberry pies. What? World-famous, really? Well, world-famous in Boralia, that is. Here, I want you to have a slice. Really? But you don't even know me. Welcome to Boralia. Oh, thank you so much. I like that little meow. Obtained pie. Boy, you could actually just, like, skin swap this whole game to be, like, cats. But why? Anything. I don't know. Frogs! I know, but it's like, we have the personality of a kitten. A slightly offended kitten at the moment. Bear travel is 50. Wait, is it 5 coins or 50? Oh, maybe it is 5 coins. Currently, there are no fairy rats open, though. Let me go inside. I don't think so. I think no. doors doors are a mystery to us. Oh, are they wearing armor? Yeah, they are. These are This is the frog and defense And that must corpse. be Elder Bufo. Oh, look, Elder Bufo's missing a hind leg. He's short one hopper. Hello, are you Elder Bufo? Hello, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to the new defense guild recruit. Oh. Really? Hmm. What? Nothing. If you got something to say, I want to hear it. Well, it's just when we heard there was someone new coming to train with us, we expected a... Uh... 
a bit more muscle. <laughs> Don't say things like that, Basalt. Why not? It's true. Pipsqueak here is smaller than a Skinner bun. What good is that going to do if we get attacked by monsters? Uh, I'll have you know, I've seen some pretty fierce warriors the size of Pipsqueak here. One almost killed me in the war. Really? We're friends now. Why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, Wait, um, what war was there? Uh, the Great Frog War of <laughs> last year. I'm... I'm Chorus. I'm non-binary and my pronouns are they and them. I wanted to join the Defense Guild for a long time, so I moved to Boralia to train. Hopefully I can learn lots here. Uh, isn't that a holy name? What's someone like you doing here? I just told you. Assault. Wait a minute. So... We have Bufo, we have Basalt. Were there any other names mentioned? I don't think so. Why is Chorus considered a, a holy It's probably name? song related. Song, Song yeah. or noise Frog related? Song. Mm -hmm. Fine, I'll give them a shot. I've seen weirder stuff happen. That's the spirit, I guess. Chorus, I have already started today's lesson, but tomorrow we can begin. <laughs> what? Who is that? People of the village of Boralia, please welcome His Imperial Majesty, Lord Lithos of the Toral Empire. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. Good afternoon, people of Boralia. I hail from the Toral Empire. We are a powerful and vast realm with territory spanning halfway across the land of Salia. I am His Imperial Majesty, the mighty Lord Lithos, ruler of this powerful domain. If you notice Lithos, it, it's also pertaining to rock, so yep. I'm wondering with basalt and such, it's interesting. I'm familiar with your empire. What brings you all the way to Boralia? I came to bring very serious news. I have reason to believe there is a major disaster on the horizon that threatens your village. What are you talking about? I am still looking into the nature of the disaster, but it is the potential to wipe out your entire village. But worry not, friends, for I have an offer to you. The Toral Empire is very strong, and we are more than capable of protecting Veralia. If your quaint little village joins our empire, my soldiers shall do what they can to protect you. Hmm, uh, but what will they have to offer in return? Are you serious? Hit the road, creep. Are you the elder of this village? No, but... Then you aren't the one I wish to discuss this with. Excuse me, I am Elder Bufo of Boralia. Excellent, we can begun, begin discussing the arrangements for... No. What? There's nothing for us to discuss. You may leave now. Bufo, with all due respect, you need to understand. Were you dried out as a tadpole? We said we don't want you here. Salt, let me handle this. Huh. Oh, wait. I... Basalt's the lady? I suppose that makes sense. I, I, I... I think we have been 100% wrong about our gender assumptions so far. Except for maybe, well, Except I don't for, know. I don't know about Elder Bufo. Yeah, don't we don't know. know about Elder Bufo. <laughs> oh, okay. man. I I honestly truly wish that there were, like, optional gender tags that you could just uh, put, Or like, maybe there was a symbol, like, just, or just in the corner of their yeah. profile picture. Or even, like, a little flag. Like, give me that little banner or something. It's only a problem because we're recording this with voice acting. So like, we have to kind of <laughs> we have assign to guess. ourselves. We yeah. have to guess based on the portrait, and this game is challenging all expectations, making us look like fools. It's fine. He's right, though. We don't need protection from an empire. You're making a mistake, Elder. Peralia is home to the best defense guild members this side of Salia. We can handle ourselves. <laughs> then the blood of your villagers will be on your hands. Goodbye, Elder. Reap. Mia. Uh, you sure that was the best idea? You mentioned a disaster. If something bad happens, wouldn't we want more help? 
There is no disaster, Pipsqueak. Didn't you hear how vague he was about all that? Yeah, but it's okay, Chorus. I get the feeling Lithos was trying to trick smaller communities into joining his empire. I suppose I'll have to warn the other elders during our next meeting. Okay. I'm going to cut today's lesson short, everyone. Chorus, a little bit north from the village is a training ground we've got set up. Why don't you head up there and practice for a bit and then join our lesson tomorrow? When you're done, you can get set up in your new house that we built for you. It should be easy to spot. It's smaller. <laughs> smaller. If you have any questions or get lost, just stop by my house. I'll be happy to help. Here, I'll pin my house for house and the training grounds on your map for you. All right, thank you. I'll go check it out. Hmm. You're really going through with this, Pipsqueak. I'm going to prove that I can be a good warrior. Sure. Good luck with the training grounds. Uh. The little house? Is this our house? Yup. It, it is smaller. A bed, bed, a table, a little shelf thing. Uh, I suppose little hangers for the sticks that you're supposed to oh, use to poke the fire. You can actually decorate the house. Oh. Yeah, there's decorations. Oh, hello. Hey, kid. Don't make my... I just... Take look, look at my character. <laughs> you cannot escape. Yeah, you are mine now. <laughs> it's just... Wait, you're not even moving. I'm not moving the stick. <laughs> you're just looping. I am. Hey, kid, don't make my mistakes. Don't smoke. I'm not a kid. I'm 23. Not that I'd smoke anyway. Smart kid. Still 23. 23 in frog years? Hi, my name's Chorus. I just moved here. Oh? Oh, hello. I'm Rana. Wait, are you that new warrior Bufo told me about? Yep. Huh. What are you reading? Oh, just a book about the history of Boralia. Is it interesting? Not especially. I'm required to read it for my job, what? though. What kind of job do you need to read a history book for? I'm Bufo's successor. He's going to leave me in charge of the village once he retires. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's a really big responsibility. Yeah. Probably the, uh, are you excited? Or, sorry, scared? Because yeah. they the, didn't look the expression happy about on it. their face. Are you scared? Yeah. Sort of. It's a lot of pressure. I can't help but feel like I'm not making any progress on my studies. It's like I'm going in circles. But this is what I want to do with my life. I guess it's complicated. I'm sure you'll do a great job. I guess I better leave you to it. Good luck. See you around, Chorus. There's something here that's moving. It's the plant! Oh! It's dead. Curse your incessant moving. Plants should not move that fast. Oh. So the training grounds are up here? I believe so. Oh. Time for violence what now. Is... Ah! Time for violence. Eh. Slashy slash. Okay. Uh, defense skill training grounds. So here's a question. Go over and just fight that guy. I'll just stand here. No, no. I mean, you can't oh, fight oh, the Oh, this bug. guy? Yeah. I want to see if you can take damage. Oh. <laughs> I I am invincible. I don't even register on his radar. <laughs> oh, oh, we could use that for something. I, mean, I don't know what exactly. Bugs don't, they, they don't really heed other bugs' presence. All right, get him. <laughs> I wonder if you get more coins from them, though. Is I don't my... think so, no. Uh oh. Hello. Oh, hello there. Are you from Boralia? Yeah, I just moved there. What is that thing? Oh, this is my star glass. Wow, oh, that is like a way more poetic name than a telescope. Mm hmm. It allows me to see the stars in the night sky much closer. Oh, that's really cool. It really is. My name is Barlow. I am a star seeker. I'm currently mapping out the night sky and tracking the movement of the stars. What do the stars look like up close? Well, mostly the same, but there's more stars up there. Range clouds of color, streaks of light. Actually, come back in a few days. Come at night. There's something really fascinating up there I'd like to show you. Alright, I'll see you around. 
Ooh, what's this? Nap spot. Oh, a nap spot. Oh, that's cute. It is super cute. Oh no, a big beetle. Fight it. Ah. ah. There we go. Ha ha. I, I'm going back to my prior statement of uh, you are absurdly effective and my presence only endangers the both of us. All right, let's well, see if he you respawned. Just oh, he keep did. your lily pads up. Oh no! There we go. So he technically collided with the pillar, pillar yeah. twice. I think that was the case. Oh no! Surprise bug. I guess I've got pretty hefty knockback against those. Oh. I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, I don't know what to do about flying bug. Oh no, you can't do anything about it either. No, I can't. What? Why are the bugs so angry? Because frogs are their mortal enemies. I suppose so. You'd think I'd be consuming more of them as opposed to profiting you know, I off wonder of if there's their, a ranged attack. Their, I'd probably get tongue later. Maybe I have tongue already. I have no idea. I'm just going to ignore it for the time being. I don't know where these training grounds are supposed to be unless this is the training ground. Maybe this is the training ground. Could be. I'm just going to hop around and make sure we didn't miss anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, Did we come from this direction? I don't know. Yes, we did. Ow. Bush bug. Rude. So they do respawn yes. every time you leave. Every time you leave. And Whoa, come back. that's a giant pill bug. It also seems to be armored. Completely disinterested in my existence. Oh, so maybe they just do damage to you. Yeah, they're just an obstacle. But since this is not a platformer, I don't need to worry about it. Unless they get really well, fast. There's a rest spot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let me know if you need to take a break. By the way. No, that's okay. All right. Because I'd much rather you tell me beforehand so we can take an awkward break rather than you unfortunately losing your lung uh, during or immediately after this video. <laughs> Ooh, look at these ruins. Yeah. This arch. Boy, I was not expecting this to be this big. There's probably something in that room that we didn't see. Maybe. Should we have tried? You know... I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm not particularly inquisitive on my first, like, hour Impression. of a game. Yeah, you want to see as much of it as possible before. I was hitting that bush! I was doing violence to it, and the bug still popped out and hit me. Rude. Um, but yeah, effectively... You, remember how we saw those cracks in the wall earlier? Mm -hmm. Clearly there's going to be a, a point. Uh-oh, watch out! Don't die! Yeah, it's rude. Let me, uh, let me check the map. Maybe you can eat the pie to, re to restore health? Yeah, I'd prefer not to. Is that the training? That is the training grounds. Wow. Oh, so we have a long That's ways to go. quite a journey. I'm going to pop down this way, see if we get a rest stop or a something. Ooh, what's that? I don't know. It's got a bunch of buttons. I'm Ooh, assuming we have to put buttons. in some kind of pattern. Let's see, anything else around here? Oh. Like any good game where you can cut grass with a sword, you can also profit off of doing so. So we don't want to... Hmm. Yeah, I wonder where we'd see it. Unless it's maybe a star map or something. Okay. One way or another, I think I'm just going to have to rely on you to do the big murder. As long as you don't get jumped. I think there's... Check that bush to the right. Oh, yeah, there's something I think there's there. some money there. Yeah, okay, it's just money. Oh, you can even open up the money thing. You were just my character, but infinitely better. <laughs> <laughs> By merits I'm of sure being be able vulnerable. To you could initiate conversations, and I can't. Them. I have the power of speech, and you have the power of immortality. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just mm -hmm. gonna hang out here. That's a good corner to hide my face in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that uh -oh. some games do it where 
Flee for your lives! Oh gosh. Wait, what? Okay, there's another bug in the grass. I think he's forgotten about our existence. For now, or he's... You better watch out though, he could charge at you okay, from off screen. There's another one. Yeah, there. Beautiful. <laughs> this would be so much harder if it wasn't for you. <laughs> I would actually have to try. <laughs> oh no, what I was gonna say is, didn't we play the multiplayer for Binding of Isaac and the companion character would actually sustain damage? So in yes. that, I was actually a detriment to you. Yeah. This is... So this feels nice because even though you're the one controlling the main character and getting into... You are technically getting more, more playtime because I have to be a coward. Oh boy. You know what? I, oh, nope. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Get him. Get him, my murder buck. Make uh, him explode from within. <laughs> I don't know. Is, there, there we go. <laughs> I think you might do less damage than me, but it's just, it's so hard to care, considering I have one HP left. Oh, oh. This is friendly. They have three rocks with them. Hello. Hey there. Are these your rocks? Ah, yes. I'm a geologist, and this is some of my collection from around Salia. This first rock to the left is from the Gloaming Grove. Have you been there? I guess it can be a bit dangerous there, but be careful if you ever have to go there. Next is a rock from the Swamp of Gloom. I wasn't there for very long. It's pretty dangerous, even for me. This last one's... Actually, just a chunk of pollen, hardened pollen from Maldar's Meadows, but it looks like a rock. That place isn't that dangerous, unless you've got allergies, I guess. I'm planning on traveling around Salia some more to find more cool rocks. Nice. It's always good to appreciate a cool rock. I very much appreciate rocks. Yep. They're fun. There you go. You got your much needed rest. Okay, good. And there's the audio back. Perfect. Oh, and let me get my mouse out of there, and everything is good. It took a little bit of uh, rest, made sure my audio is good. I, new computer woes, and also weird technical problem woes. Never fun to work with. I can, I can fix a lot of things in post, but I cannot fix lost commentary. If I'm being paranoid this week. <laughs> I wonder if we have to cross those rocks. Apparently so. But I'm going to check what's up here first, just in case. Nope, there's nothing. Wait, what if I can go down here? No, I can't. You That's are. A shame. In fact, too big. Much to everyone's surprise. You're calling the rocks, though. Yeah. But I guess we I would have probably figured it out seconds later. It's like, oh, we can't go up this way. Ah, money. I'm surprised that these don't have yeah, any functionality. I would have expected, like, you could put some money in for a small thing. here. Looks like I have to hit for every split, you know, slap the button every single time I, I want to initiate an attack. Watch out! Oh, that didn't... There we go. I got the last hit. It's mine! I like that little boing sound effect. Alright, there we go. I do appreciate that they tutorialized that enemy specifically with the um, the pillars. So it was like super obvious, like, yeah, you have to stun this thing. Though I do kind of miss the pillars. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything hiding in the grass I see yet. a pot. Pot is safe. Oh, there's one. Or no, that's a moving plant. Yep. Yeah, it's plant. Look, I'm jumping in shadows because the last... The last bug to pop out of the grass, like, actually messed me up really bad. Yep, and there's one of the flying ones. We still don't really know how to... I'm hoping I get, like, a tongue move or something. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'm pretty, I'm like, pretty sure I Like, if you knock sure them down with it, and then you attack them while they're on their back on the ground. Yeah. There we go. Dang, those are big beetles. We are a very small frog. No, but even like the emperor and everybody else 
is about the size of one of those beetles. I'm going to go with the... Those beetles are just very big. There's also an accessibility setting that I'm slightly tempted to turn on, which is you heal out of combat. Like, just kind of slowly. That'd be nice. Oh, hello. Ooh. Wait, wait. Those you... were the the creatures. Well, not the creatures, sorry. Those were the frogs that were hauling the... Uh, what was it? The... The emperor, the emperor around. Yeah, they were dragging the I forget the what the emperor's name is, though. Or the cart? Yeah, these are the cart frogs. Oh, wretched beast. Just cooperate with us. Why don't, why don't we, we just... I was both of them. Oh, remember? you were. Okay, go. I, why don't we just eat it? Or actually, maybe you want to be the green one. Okay, eat it. I call dibs on the legs. Lord Lithos will eat us if we drop the ball again. Ugh, I know. What's he even thinking, though? There's warriors at Boralia. I doubt a Slyther's gonna wipe them out. He doesn't want to wipe them out. He wants to scare them. Oh, so they're capturing this mantis specifically to, yeah. to sick on the town. It's a false flag attack-ish. What good good to him is a destroyed village? Uh, hello? Wait, is my beetle going off yes, again? Yes, you've been doing it this entire time. Uh -huh. Greetings, little tree frog. Identify yourself and state your purpose. I am. Um, I'm Chorus. I'm here to train. I was told, told to come here. Wait, are you from Boralia? Oh. Uh. But th that wasn't supposed to happen, was it? We should run. Definitely. Uh oh. Boss. Boss battle. fight. Kill him, my murder beetle. Uh, it, it's, it's fast, okay. though. I will play out. I will play ring around the rock. It may be fast. Yeah. Oh, Wait, no, no, it's, it's chucking dropping. rocks, but I'm defended. <laughs> I'm defended by the presence of rock. <laughs> I just, it is fast. I, I'll have to roll. Watch out for the rocks. It's okay. It bounces off of uh, safety rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I should be helping, but it's so funny. I love it when it's trying to chuck the rock specifically because it just looks so, like, bewildered. Like, why is this not working? What is happening? Uh, oh, do I need to get the final hit? No, never mind. Oh, no. Basalt gets the final hit. Whoa. What are you thinking? The Slizer is huge. You would have gotten yourself killed. Your lucky Bufo sent me to show you the ropes. Who knows what would have happened if I hadn't gotten here in time. About a half an hour of just a little beetle murdering them. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just about had it. I could have handled it myself. Whatever. This is too dangerous for someone as small as you. I'm serious. Let's get you back to Boralia. What's a Slizer that big even doing here? I thought they didn't live this far north. It was that Lithos guy. A couple of his, a couple of his soldiers were trying to drag it over to Boralia. I'm pretty sure he was planning to attack the village. Ah, of course that freak would try and pull a stunt like this. Come on, Pipsqueak. We better go tell Elder Bufo about this mess. Er. Frog. Ah, I see. And you're sure it was Lithos? Yeah, it was those two soldiers he had pulling the cart earlier. Ah. Basalt, have your team take shifts for night watch for the next few days. I suppose it's good timing that we got a new warrior. Elder, I know that the, what the Empire is like. This pipsqueak doesn't stand a chance. Didn't you see how big that Lithos guy was? You can't possibly think. Basalt! If it weren't for Chorus, those soldiers would have gotten that slicer to Boralia. People could have been hurt. Whether you like it or not, Chorus helps protect the village. Chorus is going to train with you, and they will become part of the Defense Guild. End of discussion. Hmm. Understood. Good night, Elder. Um, I'm gonna head home now, too. I'm sorry, Chorus. Basalt isn't the most level-headed individual. She has a lot to learn. Come talk to me tomorrow before you head out, okay? Okay. Good night, Elder Bufo. 
home, sweet, small home is down here. Oh, I there's the well. well. Nope. At least not yet. Chapter two, whispers. Oh. Curious how long the chapters are. Either way, this is charming. Harder than I was expecting it would be, but not like bad hard. But maybe that's just because I have your health. <laughs> well. Yeah, sorry, just shifting things in my throat. Oh. Hey. Ah, heard about that slicer. Brave of you to fight a beast like that. Foolish, too. You got guts, but you won't last long. Hey, I almost had it. Hey. I would have been fine if, even if Basalt hadn't showed up. Sure. Ah. Uh. I do love the pouts all the frogs have. Oh no, there I go again. <laughs> Aha. Yeah, I think if you're moving, if we go into dialogue, you just end up in a teleportation warp. Mm -hmm. Or you think it's finally time for you to make your, mis uh, your escape and my teleportation powers are just ruining mm -hmm. that. Are you getting settled in yet? I'm working on it. Still need to finish decorating and stuff. Ah, decorating is a job that's never done. Sure, you can be satisfied with how your place looks for a bit, but the satisfaction never lasts. You'll find new things to throw in the shelves, or you'll have new ideas, or you'll get bored. It never ends. You make it sound like a curse or something. Oh, sorry, do I? I don't mean to. Personally, I think it's lovely that you can redecorate your home at any time. People are constantly changing, and their homes are a reflection of that. I have no idea if that was the smoker or not, but I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna go find Bufo, probably? I don't oh, know. there's Basalt and the other warrior. Hey, his training started? Training's later oh. in the day. Oh. Do you know where Elder Bufo is? He wanted me to go talk to him this morning. I don't know. Probably at his house or something. Thanks. Hey, before you go. Huh? You might be on Bufo's good side, but I'm the guild leader here. Bufo can train you all he wants. It's my choice whether or not that you're a part of the Defense Guild. You may have survived that fight, but I still had to bail you out. So, don't get your hopes up. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see then. Good luck proving me wrong. Oh, Poor Chorus. It's okay. Chorus has a whole game to prove Bufo wrong. But it would be pretty well, sad basalt if... wrong, you mean? Or, yeah, basalt wrong. Sorry, they're both B noise, uh, B names is mm -hmm. messing with me. That was kind of nice. Oh. oh, look, there's a human structure in the distance. Well, I suppose there was also the bottle cap, so it makes yeah. sense. Everything is so big in this game. I guess it makes sense. It's supposed to make you feel real small. Oh, look, it's one of the pouty frogs. The ones okay. that go beep. Yeah. Should I try? Try to do a really high pitched little squeaky voice? Yeah. Because th that's definitely the one that goes beep. Oh, yeah. And her final words before the next word. The final dawn approaches. The coldest wind shall grace the land. The snicked. The snicks. Yes. Bufo, there is something you are not telling me. Of course not. You know how hard I worked with you to end the war. I would never risk Celia's alliance with the dry lands. Then I fear we may need to prepare our warriors for something serious. I am sorry, but the Snicked is not real, Elder Brevi. It was just a story invented during the war to scare you. I knew the frog who dreamt the story up. Have I not told you this already? The war was ages ago. Do you not find it strange that such a young frog would know this old tale? Hmm, I can't argue with that. But it's just a myth. Someone must have brought the story back. Hmm. I hope, for both of our land's sakes, that you are right. It's so weird. I, I They're talking in the most gravest of tones about world-shattering revelations. And that voice just does not... I... It does not carry the gravitas, but yeah. I think that's very much the point. <laughs> but look at their face. Yep. And just the grouchiness. Goodbye, Elder Bufo. Excuse me, priest. Uh. Uh. Uh, hello. Oh. 
Oh, good morning, Chorus. What's the snick? Sni uh, ah, the snicket. Eavesdropping, eh? I, no, no, no. I was just... It's all right, Chorus. I'm just teasing. The snicket is just an old ghost story we made up during the war to scare our, scare the enemies. It's hardly anything to be concerned about. I mean, could it just be a snake? It could be. Although I am curious as to why the story is returned. I'll have to ask the other elders if they've heard similar stories. Aside from that, Chorus, I'm glad you stopped by. Oh, come. I wanted to ask you what you think of Boralia so far. I know it's only been one day, but first impressions are very important. Oh, uh, it's fine. What do you mean by that? I've seen how the guild members treat you. No, no, I do mean it. The other warriors... It's just... It's nice. Boralia is a really sweet village, and I'm really happy to be here. Oh. I guess I'm disappointed. All this stuff Basalt said, I moved here to get away from that sort of thing. It feels easier being here, though. Feels like back home everyone has a picture of me in their heads. But it isn't who I am. Here nobody has expectations of me. I don't have to feel that pressure here. So I'm happy to be here. Ah, I think I understand. I'm sure that together we can get the other warriors to be more considerate. Uh, oh, there was one more thing I wanted to talk to you about. I hope this does not come off as rude, but I'd recommend taking your blade to Rimpal. He's the blacksmith in Boralia. Trust me when I say that he's the finest blacksmith you will ever meet. You will be able to determine if your blade is up to the up to defense guild standards. It might not be a bad idea. Thanks for talking with me. If there's more you wish to discuss, I'm always here. But if I'm not around, you can always talk to Rana. She's my successor and she will take care of the village once I retire. She's a very smart little toad. Her house is the closest one to the path away from Boralia. Here, I'll put a pin on your map so you do not forget. Thanks. I'll see you around. All right. This is a cute game and it has a lot more of that like kind of personal identity aspect of it, which is kind of nice. It's very uh, on point for June, I think. Okay. Wait, now what? I guess we are just supposed to go talk to... Rimball? Rimball, I guess. Where would they be? Oh, right, Rimball. Wait, yeah, he, <laughs> he marks where the... Um... Oh, wait. We have two things on the map. A shop and Rana's house. I guess let's go back. Oh, we you know Rimball's shop. We haven't found Rimball yet. But yeah, we do know where the Rimball? other shop is. Oh, is it in the lower right? Oh, uh, um... Because there's the ferryman. My bet is this. Yeah, there this he is. This is Rimball. It was the one with the smoke earlier. Hey, holy frog. There's supposed to be a new warrior in town yesterday. You know who they are? They're me. Oh. Sorry about that. Well, in that case, I need you to do me a favor. My name's Rimball. I'm the blacksmith around here. I have an order of steel waiting for me at the forge in the Copper City, and I need someone to pick it up. The Copper City? Everyone's so pretentious there. Hey, it's not that bad. I was born and raised there. Oh, sorry. If you're raised somewhere like Copper City, why would you move to somewhere like Boralia? Or Boreala. Sorry, you're right. Everyone was too pretentious there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you could pick up that steel for me, I'd help a lot. Why can't you get it? I'll be honest, I don't really like walking. That's it? If you get it for me, I'll touch up your blade for a discount. Could you do it for free? What? What kind of deal is that? I mean, you're making me walk to Copper City just because you don't feel like doing it yourself. There's probably monsters on the way, too. I doubt it's the safest trip. I feel I feel like touching on my blade for free is a pretty good trade for that. And what if I refuse? Then you better get walking. <laughs> uh, I like that expression. You've got an attitude, kid. I like you already. Meet me in my shop and I'll take a look at what you're working with. Alright, so let's take a look at that blade. I like that anvil. Huh. Mm. My soul. Is this salamander steel? That's not something you see every day. I think it... I, th I kind of went all out when I got it commissioned. I guess I was hoping if I got the best blade I could, it'd make up for my skills. Listen, pal. You can give the worst painter in the world an amazing brush, and the work will still be a load of mud. Likewise, the best painter in the world can make something gorgeous using a single blade of grass. 
So believe me when I say that it's not the blade that makes the warrior. But I'll be the first to admit that salamander steel is pretty, pretty impressive. The material of this blade is high quality, but it's lacking craftsmanship. Here, let me sharpen it up a bit. Yeah, just give me a moment. There you are. I've sharpened it a tad for you. I'll be able to sharpen it a bit further, but given with how uh, given how difficult salamander steel is to work with, I need payment for my efforts. After that, if you want further improvements, I'll need an ingot of salamander steel. We can dock again after you're back with my order. To get to Copper City, just follow the right-hand path away from the village. Take a left at the fork in the path there. And hey, while you're there, if you end up eating at Grubby's, tell the big guy I said hi. In Grubby's. Okay. Doesn't look like I can spend any more money here. He had said specifically that we could potentially pay him uh, for one more upgrade. And I was like, can I do it now? Mm, but, not until we get the shipment from Copper City. I suppose so. Can we go to Copper City? I want, I want to see to how pretentious everyone real is. Quick. Oh, this is Rana. This is oh, the wrong place, Rana. but we'll say hi. Hi, Rana. Hello. Oh, hello, Chorus. Ask about the piano. Oh, yeah. oh sure. You play music? Oh, oh, the piano, yes. I'm not very good at it, but I don't know. Uh, that's what's nice about it. What do you mean? It's one of the only things I do other than the elder training. I do it just for me. There isn't an entire village counting on me. I don't need to care about being good at it. I can just play piano. That does sound nice. I don't think I really have anything like that. I guess I doodle sometimes. But I don't want to be an artist or anything. That's exactly what I mean. Huh? It's good to just do things without worrying about trying to be the best. So, talking about having hobbies you're not trying to make into a career or monetize, necessarily? Or even present to anyone else? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, did you want to try playing? Yeah. I don't know how to play piano. <laughs> <laughs> okay I was gonna there's a shop down here as well oh a new customer welcome huckleberry okay heal 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 charcuterie uh, podlet stew made with imported spices Bug charcuterie my wife did the display and just huckleberry and here's the thing nah don't be a stranger. Let's start heading for Copper City. Mm -hmm. I was really hoping I could buy like a cool item or something like a bomb uh, to blow up that that cracked rock. But mm -hmm. alas, no dice. Off we go. Now, they did say it was this direction, right? Oh yeah, there's no other. Yeah, there is to the no right. We have to take the left fork, wherever that is. Yeah, I'm almost wondering if we're just supposed to go past that bit in the trail that we um, kind of almost retrace our steps and go the other direction. Uh, Are you sure there wasn't a lower right path? No, I suppose it's the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we have options. I, I think we just have to keep going. I could be wrong. One way or another, we're pretty much at the end of the video, so easy enough to just kind of walk as we talk. I think it's cute. It's a little bit of a slow starter, but I like the art style. I like the characterization. And the uh, the co-op is quite fun. Oh, did we go through here before? I think so. Yeah. Oh, it's a drainage tube. Yeah. But this just seems to be the path back to your home. Or what was originally your home. Sort of. There's that temple there, though, which we haven't interacted with yet. I don't think it was our home. It was just like a hut we were in. Unless I'm entirely and quite seriously wrong, which is possible. What does this say? Note to travelers, remember to bring a map with you so you don't get lost. Sign Melis. Should we go up here? Or, wait, is this the end? Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah. It's a drawbridge. Like it keeps going. I'm not going back there. Oh, oh, so it is there. Yeah. So I've missed the branch where we're supposed to go. Well, <laughs> it's uh, not that big of a deal. I wanted to see the pretentious creatures in in the city. 
I I'm assuming it's quite quite the walk. Really? Maybe. I mean, the, just getting to the training grounds took uh took some effort. Let me go back to the map again. See, so, yeah, that was one long path. He said he said go right from my house. Do you know what it is? Where are we supposed to fall? The oh, beach? there's a little path on the other side of the shop. Wait, but that's the shop. Yeah, not, not but the house. I, I think the entire point is go right as in take a right with your back to the shop. Oh, really? I yeah. Mean, maybe, maybe it would be better to say go west. Yeah. Kind of earlier with that one frog that was like your west or my west, you know, very much kind of a reverse of that one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, one way or another, it's not the end of the world. Either way, Frog Song is super cute. It seems like the perfect kind of game to play with a significant other uh, or a um, like a younger sibling or a kid, if you want to do that. Because the story seems like really solid and really solid, very personal. And yeah, I mean, much more like emotionally conscious than a lot of games. It does seem to be, at least when it comes to Rana and Chorus, that they're trying to find their place in the world. Nope, I was wrong. Oh, no. I have no idea. I am now lost. Uh, I'm too reliant on maps in these, but yeah, I don't... Wait, there is a left branch up there. To the left? Down? Oh, you're right. We could try that. Yeah, sure. Let's go take a look. I, I think I do remember seeing that sign. Ah. Be gone, beast. Opera City. Opera City. There we go. But I still think it's a bit of a journey to get over there. Mm -hmm. I think we'll say I do find the world a little bit simple. I was actually kind of hoping this would be a little bit more like... Uh, I mean, there might be different regions. Didn't they say there was a desert or something? Yeah. I, sorry, I, I was we, thinking we more in terms of like... The, the evil empire. As somebody that grew up specifically with Link's Awakening, I crave that level of like really interesting world design. And I would have almost preferred like a, a full on Zelda map as opposed to these like, you know, just kind of rooms with maybe something going on or maybe nothing going on. Because it just does feel like I'm spending a lot of time traveling. I think this is. Part oh, the Maldor Mal. This is the place where they had all the pollen, right? Yep. Yeah. Is this. It's Espo again, and he's collecting human trash. Hi, Espo. What's that you're holding? I'm not sure. I can't even tell what it's made out of. Some sort of soft, flexible metal? It reminds me a bit of a tree branch, or maybe a staff. Wait, you think this thing's a magic staff? I don't think magic is real. Okay, but if it was, this would definitely be a magic staff, right? <laughs> Looks more like a hockey stick, but... Do we say yes or no? Eh, why don't you humor him? Hmm. I guess so. Whatever it's made of doesn't really look natural. Exactly magic materials. Just between you and me, my guess is this magic staff is extremely powerful. With this in my shield, I'm gonna be unstoppable. <laughs> Boy, I just hope by the end of this game he's just like decked out in everything. Well, that's a really cute animation. Oh, and we've got secret treasures. Is this just Copper City or no? Oh, but look. There... It's a recolor. Yeah. <laughs> it dies just as fast. I think it might just be a, a palette swap for the area. To yeah, match I mean, it's definitely more gold. And oh, this one's a little bit thinner, isn't it? A different type of beetle. Yeah. It's not oh. quite a rhino beetle. It's more aggressive, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's definitely more, way more aggressive. I don't know. Well, did you wanna, want me to stick it out until... Uh -oh. Bees! Why would you do that? Now they're all mad. Oh Ow. no! <laughs> Keep running away! Yep, I was hoping... I think I did actually take two of them out. Please don't fight the bees. Okay, I won't. It looks the, like they do leave you alone. Yeah, the bees are completely peaceful, unless you attack them. <laughs> At which point, they are no longer peaceful. They are out for blood. Or you could attack them and make my life way worse. Here's the question. Do you do more damage? Yes, you do. Ah. Yeah, I'm just going to hang here. Yeah, that definitely takes way less time when you're doing it. Interesting how there are so many gates dividing this area. Yeah. Don't know why. Ooh, what are those? Are they eggs? 
Oh, it could be. Boy, that's a uh, trying my best. Durable critter. Can you get it? Whatever's in here or no? I don't think so. Oh. I mean Maybe you can dig them up later. I noticed that there's a lot of spots that look like there's something that you can Oh, there's a rest spot. Okay. Whoa! Oh, it's one of these frogs. It's one of the soft frogs. Hello. Hello there. What do you think this think of this sculpture I'm working on? Huh. What's neat? What exactly is it? Not sure. I just like making these sorts of shapes. I use clay from the bottom of this pool, and then I let them dry out in the sun. It's really fun. It sounds fun. Oh, I'm gonna get back to working on this one. The loops aren't quite right yet. <laughs> oh, it's the same thing. I used to do that in California. Uh, there was a beach that you could go to with like a um kind of wetland leading into it with a um, lot of like little rivers mm -hmm. uh, tributaries I guess I don't know um kind of as part of a floodplain and it was uh it had a lot of clay in the banks oh no my my controls aren't working well maybe it's time for us to stop anyway because <laughs> we're getting close anyway but yeah so there was a lot of clay in the banks since we'd scoop out the clay and goof around with it. Not too much. But it was more fun than sand cast castles because you could make something actually durable. Yeah, yeah. There'd probably be a little bit more permanency to it. Or unless it's just the material that you were... Yeah. Oh. oh here's Copper City, I think. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Don't worry about it. I'm scared of those things. Well, that's fair. Ah, there's a rest spot. Hey. Micro naps. <laughs> All right. So this should be Copper City. Nope, it's not. All right. This is starting to maybe take a while. I bet we're. I bet we're close. You don't. Yeah. I don't right? know. Map. Map's big. Uh, no. Oh no! Is that Copper City? Yeah. I mean, we're not that far away. It's not. That it's big a few more maps. Come on. Okay, Let's find fine. it. I just. I, I don't want this to be also, one of those. Also, look at that face. I live here. You killed my house. What about house? I mean, it lived in the grass. Oh, look at that. I'm big. <laughs> What's your favorite type of frog? Um. Hmm. Tough one. Unfortunately, uh, I was thinking of frogs that I didn't like, and I'm thinking of the one variety that lays all of its eggs in its back. Oh, yeah. That one's unsettling. That's horrifying. Oh, oh this game has no dead stick. That sucks. And by laying eggs, I, what I mean is the eggs are fertilized and then doesn't the... Is it the mother or is it the father? It, it, it's, I think it's the mother. Takes the... Like, rolls the eggs onto their back and then... They get absorbed, and then the babies crawl out later. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> oh, this one's so cute. It's so tiny. Remember all the little frogs we saw hiking? Yeah. They were adorable. Oh, hi there. Are you here to pick up a pet? Pet? No. Oh, I have a sanctuary here for lost pets. Sometimes people come back for them, but not always. I'm glad to be here for them. Oh. Oh, it's very kind of you. Thank you. It's not always easy taking care of so many pets, but it's always worth it. But they're snails. Oh. Yeah, it's a lot of snails, and <laughs> there's ladybugs, and... I don't know. Grand scheme of things, I think it's probably pretty easy to take care of snails. You just kind of let them go. <laughs> And every once in a while, you poke their eye stalks, which is mean, but it's Wait, cute. Wait, so was that the end of the path? Did For go the wrong that was way? a secret. Oh, a secret. I see. I don't know if it's really a secret secret. I'm just going to skip that guy. Yeah, I know true. we need money, maybe, for things, but it's you just... You already a... have 300 coins. Yeah, and I'm sure we'll need more. Dang, that whole pie thing earlier makes me want pie. Mm -hmm. We already have a ton of desserts, though. I know. But they're all mochis.
Oh, oh. mochi. I was like, low cheese? No, 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 mochi. Aha. More secret. Oh. What? It was that? It's a shortcut. Oh. Okay. That, yep. Also, if I just pushed it a little further, we could have skipped a lot of that. Well, that's kind of nice. Here's how many well, short... Heard around. Yeah. Here's how many shortcuts there are like that. Here we go. This is okay. looking promising. Oh. A waterfall? Meku Falls. These gorgeous rapids take their name from an old story about a child of Venura named Meku. The story says that Meku's eyes sparkled a brilliant blue color. Such a beautiful hue that Amora colored the seas after them. I'm pretty sure Meku dies horribly at the end of that story. Oh, oh no. I mean, that's pretty traditional for... For myths, yeah. Yeah. Oh no! What if we just don't talk to them? <laughs> Fine. Oh. Lithos, what are you doing here? Am I supposed to know you? Stay back, impudent, impudent whelp. We will not let you interfere with Lord Lethus's plan again. Again, Namus. Uh. M my lord, the Slicer mission was not as successful as planned. But it wasn't our fault. This little tree frog snuck up on us and freed the Slicer. We beg your forgiveness, my lord. It won't happen again. No matter, Boreala's, uh, Boreala's time is coming to an end, Slicer or not. What's gonna happen to Boreala? Wretched brat, you really think that your village is important? My plans are far bigger than you realize. Boreala's time is puny and weak, it means nothing to me. I have my sights on something far larger. You're lucky I'm in a good mood as I just finished discussing arrangements for the Copper City to join my empire. Uh-oh. What? So I'll let you live for now. Run back to your little village and continue your holy studies while you can. I'm a scholar. I'm in the defense guild. Cute. Run along now, little warrior. Go back and whine to your pitiful village. Uh, whatever you're up to, it isn't going to work. Yeesh. I mean, I could see Copper City if it's full of, what, the pretentious inhabitants. I can't they even talk to that them. guy. Halt! Who goes there? Uh, my name's Chorus. I'm just... Ah, I'm just messing with you. It's my first day as a guard. I've always wanted to say that. Halt! Who goes there? Stop right there! Classic guard stuff. Well, good luck with the job. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, we have is a copper city. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of copper What's to it. Is that a tiny dude? kid dressed up as the emperor? I think so. I want to talk to Whoa. this guy first. Hey, you're a tiny little frog. Do you want to make a big splash? I got just Whoa. the thing for you. Bombs! <laughs> see an ugly crumbling Whoa. wall? Bang! Surrounded by monsters? Boom! I just want to see a cool explosion? Whoa. Ammo! Bombs! Yes! Um, do be safe with them, though. You can really hurt yourself if you use them wrong. You can buy six bombs for 20 or 12 for 35. Give me the bombs. There you go! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll talk to this child, but then I'm going to have to stop because this is wrecking my voice. Hello. Do you have a moment to talk about our holy songstress, Inara? I... I'm a tree frog. I lived in Tensfall my whole life. I know all about Inara. Of course. I'm sure. Do you have a moment to talk about her anyways? Sure. Oh. Really? I've never gotten this far before. Um... It unnerves me that the tutorial message for Place Bob is, is just active right now. still hovering over. Yeah. I don't have anything prepared. Uh, come back tomorrow? Uh, I was wanting to hear about Inara. Run. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> uh, I think this is a shop too, maybe. Welcome, little tree frog, to the shop of Athadius. You're looking for the finest honeydew in all of Salia. You've come to the right place, whether you want it spice, sweet, or bitter. I only sell the best. A bottle of Athadius honeydew will give you refresh, uh, leave you refreshed beyond belief. A bottle of honeydew will heal you fully, and then some. Like a bottle, it'll cost you 85. Purchase a bottle? Yes. I really like doing the business music in with here. You. I don't know what it's useful for, but maybe somebody wants it. <laughs> or maybe it's just useful. I guess I could check. Ah, full plus three temporary hearts. 
Oh. That's pretty useful. All right. Well, one way or another, like I said, this is starting to rag in my voice a little bit, uh, owing to the fact that. Oh, look, and they do have the ferrymen here. So yes. maybe we'll be able to arrange for passage in the future. Is it five or 50? Let's go ask. It's just five. Oh, that's much better. Care to travel? Not in the moment. So maybe if you find each ferryman, then you can. Yeah, every dock it. spot, you can then warp. Is this one? Hiya. Oh, I'm here to pick up an order. Oh. Rimbo? That's right. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Hmm. Be careful out there. Strange whispers going round ever since that bullfrog emperor guy showed up. Talking about some sort of monster. The Snicket? Hmm. Yeah, I think that was the name. Huh. Well, thanks again for the steal. Hmm. Tell Rimbo. I hope he's doing all right. All right. Well, anyway, so Frog Song burp, is available mm -hmm. on Steam now. Uh, as of yesterday, total surprise release. It's frozen. It's frozen for a moment. I just wanted a quick take a look. Uh, so it's 15 bucks normally yeah. down to 13.50 for launch. <laughs> Tiny poison dart. Are you from Copper City? I'm just passing through. Me too. Have you had any food here yet? I've heard the honeydew here is delicious. There's so many kinds of snacks in Salia. It's so exciting. I'm traveling around trying all sorts of food. One day, I hope to try every single snack in the world. That's a lot of food. Good luck. <laughs> I, it'd be really funny if every time we find the poison dart frog, it's just like a small or order of magnitude larger. <laughs> By the end of it, it's bigger than the emperor. Uh-oh. So the emperor's a bullfrog. That's interesting. Yeah. I what? wonder if they looked at a number of... I mean, this frog species definitely looks unique. Hello. Would you like? Would you be interested in purchasing a cute, cuddly plushie? All handcrafted locally. And locally be made by me. These plushies would be lovely... Uh, uh, sorry. I am trying this voice out and it's... I'm stumbling all over myself. These plushies would be a lovely way to decorate your home. The first plushie I have for sale is a cute little podlet plushie. I can sell to you for 20. 20. I was about to say 200. 20. Thank you. You got the podlet plush. You can collect special items to decorate your home. You'll also unlock new items that can at the end of each chapter, so make sure you check your chest at home. Bye. Okay, so it's the skitter bug. Bye. <laughs> Bombers. Wait. Wait, is the last plushie the, the beetle. beetle? Yep. This one's pretty big, so unfortunately it won't be cheap. I can sell to you for 50. Are you interested in buying it? Capitalism, ho. Uh -oh. Thank you. You got the blugger, blugger, so that's what they call it. Hello, unfortunately I'm all out of plushies to sell. Thank you for supporting a local business. Oh. Dang it, we keep seeing cute frogs to talk to. <laughs> Hello. I like your hat, it's really pretty. Oh, thank you. Sadly, it seems I'm a bit stuck. Stuck? What do you mean? The moment I move, I, I just know this flower will take flight in the wind. And so, I'm stuck here. Oh. The cost of being cute. Oh, do you want a piece of cheesecake? I have an extra piece that I'm not going to eat. Really? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Sweet. All right. Well, that's <laughs> enough uh, frog ogling and... Uh, hop talking and whatever it is time for us to go but of course if you guys like this video in any way shape or form leave us a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more rad new games every single day I'm going subscribe. off into the abyss are you doing this perm uh, yeah okay you are uh, I can try to, to there <laughs> we go hide. maybe I have it back yeah all it's right sporadic. Uh, but yeah hit subscribe because we got tons to check out and show off but with that thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time <laughs>